are your winner by split decision. And now, the WBO lightweight champion of the world, Denny's the Thunder Baron Chick! Welcome to Cage Crafters, your ultimate destination for all things combat sports. Whether you're a seasoned fight fan or just starting to explore the thrilling world of martial arts, you've come to the right place. I'm your host, Calvin. Let's dig in. Denise Berenchik emerged victorious in what is being hailed as the greatest day in Ukrainian boxing history. In a surprising turn of events, he upset Emmanuel Navarit by split decision to claim the vacant WBO lightweight championship. The fight itself was far from graceful, with both fighters engaging in a 12-round dance filled with awkward movements and numerous missed punches. Neither man's offense seemed to have a significant impact on the outcome. However, with scores of 115-113, 116-112, and 112-116, Berinchik 19, Ninkas secured the title of world champion. This achievement mirrored the success of his fellow Ukrainian boxer Oleksandr Usyk who earlier in the day became the first undisputed heavyweight champion in almost 25 years by defeating Tyson Fury in Saudi Arabia. Berinchik's disappointment signified the third world championship secured by a Ukrainian boxer in the previous week. Last Saturday in Australia, Vasily Lomachenko triumphed over George Cambosos GR to claim the vacant Ivet lightweight title. Navri 38-2-1, 31 costs, the reigning WBO junior lightweight champion, had aspirations of making history himself. He aimed to join the esteemed company of Mexican boxers who have held titles in four different weight classes. Canelo Alvarez, Jorge Ars, Juan Manuel Marquez, Eric Morales, and Leo Santa Cruz. Having previously held the WBO belts at 122 and 126 pounds, Navri currently reigns at 130 pounds and was striving to add another title at 135 pounds. On this particular evening, Navri did not display the same level of offensive prowess he had shown in lighter weight classes. Berinchik outpaced him in throwing punches in all rounds except one, as reported by CompuBox. Navri's output was notably lower than usual, and even when he connected with power shots, they lacked the usual impact seen at 130, 126, or 122 pounds. Berinchik may have lucrative fights on the horizon, Considering the other three 135-pound titles are held by Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson WBC, and Gervonta Tank Davis WBA. When asked which of these top fighters he would like to challenge next, Berinchik simply replied, I don't know. I don't give it F. Navarit also expressed uncertainty following the match. When asked about his future plans in terms of weight class, he mentioned the need to reflect on his performance, analyze his strengths and weaknesses, and work with his team to enhance his skills. He emphasized the importance of not rushing into any decisions at the moment. Navarit also expressed the importance of carefully assessing his options and making the best decision for his career moving forward. He acknowledged that the competition in the lightweight division was tough and that defending his junior lightweight title was also a significant responsibility. The champion emphasized the need for patience and thorough analysis before making any final decisions. Navarit's thoughtful and strategic approach to his next move reflected his dedication to the sport and his commitment to taking on the most strategic and beneficial path for his boxing career. After his impressive unbeaten streak came to an end after 10 years and 34 fights, Navarit admitted the necessity of refining his technique. Don't forget to like comment, and subscribe to Cage Crafters for more riveting content on the world of combat sports. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.